Hello and welcome to this SQL Server tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at working with SQL Server dates, how we can format these, adding in culture to support date regions and format, and then we're going to look at a practice problem where we can sort of um, subtract elapsed or past days uh, from different columns within our SQL database. So the first thing that we'll do is look at the data we're working with. Um, this comes from the Northwind database that I imported from GitHub. And we're going to be looking at an order ID, an order date, and a ship date column. And we're going to look at how we can format this and improve the way that this is presented and make it more relevant depending where we're situated. So in this brief slide here, I've got some example queries and how the format that we use within our format function would affect the output. So if I take a select statement and I'm using get date just for system date, we'll actually reference a date column, but you could do it this way. Um, you can see how each each different sort of format within our single quotations affects things. So if we have two Ds, two capital M's and the four Y letters, that would give us a standard sort of day output as we'd expect with the, the forward slashes. However, we could add in a time format with hours, minutes and seconds. Um, and if we navigate through, you can see that four Ds may present as the full name for the day of the week. And then we can go into the, the numeric value with the two Ds, the zero and the five, um, and so on. We can go into the, the month, the full month convention, and then the year. So you can feel free to look at this, but we're actually going to go through some actual examples as to how this works. All right, so back to our SQL environment and SQL Server Management Studio, and we'll look at these various date format options in practice. So first of all, in this query, I'm taking the order ID column, and I want the order date. However, I don't like the way that this is presented with the time format and the, the hyphens, so maybe I, I want to change that. So I can use two Ds, two capital M's, and the years, the four Y symbols, as our order date. Notice within those angled brackets, because I've got a space, I, I'm using that so that I can display um, my column name without any joining there of the, of the words. So you can see in the order date column, I formatted this nicely, and you can see the stark difference with the ship date section. So we've got, as we'd expect, the day of the year and two integer values. So for example, zero, four in the first line, um, the same practice with the month and then your standard year format. Now let's look at some other formats that we could use with our dates. So again, we could take the order ID, but this time when I format, I'm using a very different um, methodology here. So I've got the four Ds, then two Ds. So what we would expect here is we would have the four Ds means that we have the full day of the week. The two Ds is that two integer value for the, the date. And then we just go through again with the, the full month and then the year. And we can look at how that works in practice. In the second column, I may want to change this again, where I have, you know, I have the month with a space in the short month version, the days and the year. So we can look at how this actually outputs. But these again are pretty common ways of displaying date so there we go we have that sort of very full date column formatted more like a text string and in the ship date we have the short month version with those three m's so as i said earlier at the start of the video another option we have with the format function is to incorporate culture and this means that we can obtain sort of regional formatting styles and we might not have to go through this single quotation formatting if we just want, say we have data that came through an American date format and we want British or French or, or whichever style. So we could use reference order date column again. We use the D in single quotation marks and then ENUS to get that US date format. And we could also use ship date, the D, and then we could say ENGB for Great Britain. And we can look at how these differ from each other, but this is a, a quicker way than actually going through and doing custom formatting like we saw above. So when we reference that and execute the query, you'll see the first column order date is in the US where the month lies first and it doesn't have those two 
integer values whereas the great british version we have the full date with two integer values the month with the two integer values so 07 for july and then the year so we can look at how that differs and again this is just a a quicker way if you don't want to go through custom formatting and it helps sort of power up our process there now i want to finish this with a sort of mock problem so we want to calculate the difference between two dates but also factor in our formatting this is how we could do it so maybe we want to select the top 10 order ids and we want to say we want the order date and we'll format this just in the standard fashion with the two days um the two months and the integer value and then the year so that could be you know a 01 07 1996 and we'll take that as order date and we'll format the ship date in exactly the same fashion because you know we'd probably be implementing that same formatting across every column now what we need to do here for the the column where we're looking at the difference between the two dates or the days elapsed we need to use the date diff function date difference and we need to provide an interval so it could be months or years for us it's relevant to use day and i'll reference the ship date and order date column and i'll name that days past and i'll take that from orders and we'll do a few extra steps here we'll use where and we want to say where that um, ship date is not null because that would mean that it hadn't been shipped yet potentially so we need orders that have actually been shipped and then we'll order it by the order id in descending order with those top 10 order ids and it's as simple as that and we've managed to format the dates and have a date difference column now you notice in the days past we do have minus figures so a way we can get around this we're not actually interested if it's positive or negative so we can just wrap that in an absolute function which turns everything into a an absolute positive value so there we go um calculating the difference between two dates got some good functionality there with formatting as well learn the principles behind formatting date and culture and as usual if you like this content please feel free to like comment subscribe and share thank you